a preview of transformations. The first type of transformation is um, vertical and horizontal translations. And the definition is if y is equal to f of x, then y equal to f of x plus k gives a vertical translation of the graph of f. The translation is k units up for, for k is greater than 0, and the absolute value of k units down for k is less than 0. If y equals f of x, then y equals f of x minus h gives a horizontal translation of the graph of f. This translation is h units to the right for h is greater than 0, and the absolute value of h units to the left for h is less than 0. On the graph, you can see that a vertical translation moves the entire graph untouched up or down, and a hor the horizontal translation moves the graph left and right. For the first problem, example shows that example 1 illustrates a vertical translation and a horizontal translation. Graph each pair of functions and identify the transformation from f to g. So you will need a graphing calculator for this and you pause the video to graph the fun functions on your graphing calculator. Once you have done that, you can, uh, you can see that the g of x is equal to f of x plus 3 and the function g of x is equal to x squared plus 3 and it is a vertical translation of the graph of f 3 units up for a. For b, you can see that f g of x is equal to f of x plus 4 and the function g of x is equal to as the absolute value of x plus 4 and this is the horizontal translation of the graph of f 4 units to the left shown on the calculator as well. The next type of transformation is vertical stretch and vertical compressions. And if y is equal to the f of x, then y is equal to a f of x gives a vertical stretch or vertical compression of the graph of f. If a is greater than 1, the graph is stretched vertically by a factor of a. And if a is less than, if 0 is less than a, less than 1, the graph is compressed vertically by a factor of a. The, shown on the graph, the vertical stretch and vertical compression um, transforms the lines, unlike, unlike, tra unlike translations, which only moves the graphs. For the next example, it um, shows that graph each pair of functions and identify the transformation from f to g. So graph that on your graphing calculator. So as you can see on the calculator, that uh, g of x is equal to 2 times f of x, and the function g of x is equal to 2 times the, the square root of 16 minus x squared. And it is a vertical stretch of the graph of f by a factor of 2. For b, you can notice that g of x is equal to 1 half times f of x. And the function g of x is equal to 1 half times the square root of 16 minus x squared. And it is a, a vertical compression of the graph of f by a factor of 1 half. The next form of transformation is horizontal stretch and horizontal compression. If y is equal to f of x, then y, equal to, y is equal to f times bx time gives a horizontal stretch or horizontal compression to the graph of f. If b is greater than 1, then the graph is compressed horizontal by a factor of 1 over b. If 0 is less than b and is less than 1, the graph is stretched horizontally by a factor of 1 over b. On the graph, it shows that the horizontal stretch is moving to the stretching the graph to both sides of the coordinate plane and for the Horizontal compression, you can see that it is squeezing the graph um, close, the lines of the graph closer together. And graph each pair of 
functions and identify the transformation from f to g. So do that on your calculator. When you graph it on a calculator, you can see that g of x is equal to f times 2x. And the function g of x is equal to the square root of 16 minus 2x squared is a horizontal compression of the graph of f by a factor of 1 half. So the for example a, the graph is being compressed closer to f. And for example b, notice that g of x is equal to 1 f times 1 half x. And the function g of x is equal to the square root of 16 minus 1 half x squared. And this is the horizontal stretch of the graph of f by a factor of 2. Which means that the graph, the original graph, is being stretched outwards, making it bigger. The next transformation is reflections. And if f is equal to f of x, then y is equal to negative f of x, which gives a reflection of the graph of f across the x-axis. If y is equal to f of x, then y is equal to f times negative x. Then f y is equal to f of negative x, which gives a reflection on the graph of f across the y-axis. The graphs show that for the first graph, it shows that it's a reflection of the x-axis. It is easier to see if you draw a line through the x-axis, and it shows that like it, the reflections kind of act as a mirror. That mirror is the graph across. And for the y-axis, you can do the same thing and draw a line through the y-axis, which shows, which is easier to see that the original graph is being mirrored across the y-axis. For the example, graph each pair of functions and identify the transformation with f to g. So do that on the calculator. And when you put it into the calculator, you can see that g of x is equal to negative f of x, and the function g of x is equal to negative x squared is the reflection of a graph of f across the x-axis, like that. And for example b, notice that g of x is equal to f times negative x, and the function of g of x is equal to 2 times negative x plus 3, or g of x is equal to negative 2x plus 3, and it is a reflection of the graph across the y-axis, shown like this. And overall, the summary of transformations is that vertical translation of k units up and vertical translation of the absolute value of k units down. And y is equal to f of x plus k where k is greater than zero and y is equal to f of x plus k where k is less than zero and horizontal translation of h units to right or the horizontal translation of absolute va absolute value of h units to a left shows that y is equal to f times x minus h where h is greater than zero and y is equal to f of x minus h where h is less than zero. The vertical stretch by a factor of a shows that y is equal to a f times a f of x where a is greater than one and then a vertical compression by a factor of a shows that y is equal to a f a f of x where x is less than z a where zero is less than a and is less than one. The horizontal Stretch by a factor of 1 over b shows that y is equal to f times f of bx, where 0 is less than b is less than 1, and a horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over b shows that y is equal to f, f of bx, where b is greater than 1. The reflection across the x axis is y is equal to negative f times f of x. And the reflection of y-axis is at y equals f of negative x.